producer, director, some shit, who said um, a while ago, I think 20 some odd years ago, when he was trying to pitch the Harriet Tubman movie, that in fact, the studio heads thought it was a great script and a great story, and they wanted somebody very special to play the lead. Was it this lady? Was it this groundbreaking legendary actress? Or maybe they thought about using the queen. Well, if you thought any of those actresses were up for the part, you'd be wrong. Who they have in mind? Because when I go to sleep at night and I dream about the black heroine that returned to plantations over 13 times to rescue over 70 slaves, I think Julia Roberts. Hollywood, y'all really was gonna do this to me? I was gonna have to sit through a Julia Roberts as Harriet Tubman movie so I can watch folks eat potato salad with raisins in it? Did y'all hear about this? Y'all gotta watch out out there where y'all lifting Uber passengers. Apparently a male Lyft driver assaulted a female for playing reggaeton in his whip. Now that's some fucked up shit. Didn't your mother teach you better than that? What type of low rent piece of shit are you? I know damn well you know the difference between right and wrong. So why the fuck would you subject anybody to the sounds of reggaeton music without their permission? That's right, I said it. If I let you in my car and give you the privilege of touching my premium sound system, you better not throw on no fucking daddy Yankee because there's gonna be some fireworks in that bitch. You're gonna touch every wall in that whip. Matter of fact, just don't touch the radio. It should be way easier. I almost forgot to tell y'all about who else got caught up in some fuckery when it came to Harriet Tubman. This motherfucker right here, Judge Joe Brown said, it's an insult to masculinity if they ever put Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill. He said a man should be put on there first, a black man should be put on there first, excuse me, before Harriet Tubman. Nigga, just because your speaking pattern very closely resembles that of a newly free slave don't mean you can come after one of America's greatest freedom fighters. So it's fucked up if a black woman gets put on a $20 bill before a black man? Did you ever stop to think about the irony of this situation? That you probably would never be on TV or be a judge in the courtroom had it not been for the tireless and fearless contributions of this woman? You done lost your damn mind and nigga shut up. Cash Doll unfollowed Nicki Minaj. Somebody tell me who the fuck Cash Doll is. Cash Doll, the rapper, apparently, uh, unfollowed Nicki Minaj because she claimed Nicki Minaj got all up in her DMs and start talking crazy about some other shit that was going on that the whole internet was already dragging her about. Now, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about the shit that came previous and why everybody was already dragging her on the internet. You ready? That's what I know, and I don't give a fuck. Here's what I think though. Nicki Minaj continues to beef with female artists when they come out. One week you wanna work with somebody, you're trying to ride somebody's wave. I'm thinking Megan Thee Stallion. Next time out, you having problems going up in this young girl's DMs whose music I never listened to and probably really would never care to. But I know what the fuck's going on here. Y'all think y'all got me fooled? No, no. Y'all in on this shit together. This is a fake ass beef. Nikki didn't put you up to this. She didn't got on the horn and like, yo, yeah, tell everybody you unfollowed me and shit so we can get this beef. Beef gonna be going back and forth. And about a year and a half, two years from now, y'all gonna come back together so y'all can make big money a la Nas and Jay-Z, even though yes, Jay-Z financially came out on top in that uh, situation. But I think this is an orchestrated beef and I ain't falling for the shit. Both y'all are relevant. Both y'all whack. I said it. But this comment from this website, I'm not gonna say what the website is, but this comment is that why is Nikki doing this? And somebody in the comment section said, because she's tired as fuck, walking around with nails too long, not to get shit underneath them when she wipes her stinking ass. This ain't me saying this, this is a comment section. I swear you can go find this. Nobody's checking for her. So she's about to go above and beyond to stay relevant or make headlines, starting with desperately marrying a rapist. Ooh, just stop. Let's get some positivity out here. Nikki, let's quit fomenting all this beef because they ready for you. America's mulatto princess Halle Berry is back in the news. Uh, during a custody dispute, she filed some paperwork that alleges that her ex-husband, I think his name's Gabriel, 
is flat out racist. Well, racist, but married to a black woman. She says that Gabriel wanted her kids to identify as white and wanted her to identify as white. Hallie, did you not see this dude before y'all got married, sitting around the house, watching Fox News, wearing a MAGA hat, listening to Leonard Skinner? Did you not have a conversation about Tamir Rice, Eric Gardner, Black Lives Matter? What about that time you saw a cop struggling with a black man on the ground and Gabriel jumped in to help the fucking cop cuff the guy. I'm just playing, that never really happened, but that's some shit a racist white guy would do, right? So you know what this is? This shit is payback for that fuck shit you did with Billy Bob Thornton, letting him ride you like a donkey in that fuck ass movie. All money ain't good money. And I have no problem with interracial dating, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. We got a problem with that. This ain't the fucking channel for you, but pick the right one. And it looks like the Cleveland Hammer, Miles Garrett, will be sitting out for the rest of the season and maybe a couple of games next season as his appeal with the NFL was turned down. That shit was brutal. And everybody was talking about that the next day. They still talking about it. He hit that boy so hard, my head still hurt. So if you watched SNL this past weekend, you know they provided a pretty strong defense for Miles Garrett. Uh, Kenan Thompson was saying he just wanted to put the man's helmet back on his head. So it's a lot of questions swirling around this incident. One question is who started it? Another question is, was the punishment justified? The real question is, is a little motherfucker like this who's chasing a dude around the field that's twice his fucking size, that's also got a weapon in his hand, even smart enough to be playing quarterback in the NFL. But Miles Garrett went to the appeals process and spilled all the tea on your boy he let it be known why he really smashed him upside the head with that helmet. Apparently Mason Rudolph dropped the end bomb and y'all mad because he hit this man upside the head with a helmet. Mason Rudolph is lucky. He not picking pieces of that helmet out of his asshole right now. He lucky miles Garrett didn't just keep pounding and pounding and pounding his ass until his whole body disappeared. Like he was getting nailed into the fucking turf. So you calling people niggas and kicking them in the nuts. That's the type of shit that'll make me bypass a fight with your ass altogether. I will go straight to your father's house. Cause I want to know who the fuck raised you. So moral of the story. Next time y'all see miles Garrett, it's only one rule. Don't touch the fucking helmet. And that's real like share, comment and subscribe. Once again, it's the Mike powers minute. I'm Mike powers and I'm out.